Aquarius. How you doing Aquarius? Welcome to your reading for the 25th 25th of July to the 1st of August. Let's see what's coming up for you. Wow, those three cards just fell out. You've got the Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups. Ace of Swords and Ten of Cups there. <clears throat> Sorry, Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups. <laughs> what am I even thinking? Okay. One more shuffle. Okay, let's go. Wow, they really wanted to split there. Now, a lot of people have been getting tower or devil or both. So this is a collective energy that's going on. The tower, um, divinely guided, it has to fall down. Something that you've been working on or building upon or, nah, hasn't been structured in the right way, so it needs to be brought back down to its foundation so you can rebuild it. Now, what I'm hoping for now that is the Three of Pentacles shot up in this reading. Mm. It's the Five of Pentacles. So I am picking up there's no sugarcoating it. Financial downfall was the words that were coming in. Okay, Aquarius? But it's going to put you in the zone of manifestation. The magician. Manifesting love. Manifesting the love you truly want are the words that are coming in. And there's the three of pentacles. Beautiful. So that is, in a reading where the tower has already happened, especially at the beginning when the Three of Pentacles shows up, it is the rebuilding. There's a mason there working on a building. It is the card of rebuilding. Empress, nice. So this tower moment is a good thing. Like, quite often it can be. Because it's going to put you in the, z in the zone of being able... Abundance in love, abundance in money, wealth, health, happiness... And you will see much clearer. Queen of Swords. You will see much clearer. Queen of Wands. You will be able to see much clearer. And be decisive. Communication coming in. Eight of Wands. Two eights together. Eighty-eight. Eight of Cups. Walking away from things that no longer serve you. The Hermit. Standing on top of a mountain and shining your inner light to the rest of the world. Seven of Cups, that's a lot of inner light. Now the Seven of Cups can represent many things. Overwhelm can be one of the things. Um, caught in the choices and being overwhelmed by the choices. But more than that, it represents choosing wisely. Because there are many different things in those cups. And some of those things I suggest that you don't particularly want. But look, one of the cups does have a castle. A sort of a tower on top of a rock there. So maybe think about that one. Or there's a hat. A hat of magic. Or there's jewellery. There's, there's, a, there's a victory wreath. There's a dragon and snake and Medusa's head. Um, <laughs> maybe not those ones. Okay. I'm really glad the way the reading turned out. I'm really glad that Three of Pentacles showed up. This, this, this tower moment, this uh, destruction, this downturn... This financial downfall, I remember saying that, is going to give you the opportunity to find your true purpose, find who you, uh, true love, and be abundant with love. There's not really much about money coming back other than Three of Pentacles, and that's the rebuilding of the tower. So it's more of a love thing. So I'm getting the feeling that... Um, 
there's communication coming into you, but I am picking up. There is a fire sign that you should potentially be walking away from. Take it as it resonates. That's not for everyone. Okay. As above the tower, so below the five of pentacles. As above the magician, so below the ace of cups. As above the three of pentacles, so below the empress. As above the queen of swords, so below the queen of wands. As above the eight of wands, so below the eight of cups. As above the hermit, so below the seven of cups. Okay. Thanks for being here, Aquarius. Take care, Aquarius. Goodbye. Bye. Forever, though. Oh, okay. <laughs>